In this video, we will talk about the word problems or descriptive problems based on linear equations in one variable. Hello friends, you are watching YouTube channel Number Collage. This channel features easy to understand concept videos on mathematics. The word problem is sum of two numbers is 95 if one exceeds the other by 15 find the numbers. We will start by assuming one of the numbers to be x and the second number to be y. So according to the first condition we write x plus y equals 95. The other number y therefore will be 95 minus x. So we get one number as x and the other number as 95 minus x. According to the next condition, if one exceeds, that is, the number x exceeds the other number, which is 95 minus x by 15. So, this equation, which is a linear equation in x, that we have to solve in order to find the value of x. So, we write x equals 95 plus 15 minus x which will be when this x goes on the left side it will become plus so x plus x will be 95 plus 15 which is 110 that will be 2x equals 110 this 2 when it goes to the right hand side will divide this 110 so we write x equals 110 by 2 that gives us 55. So one number of the two is 55. The other number which is 95 minus x will be 95 minus 55 which will be 40. Therefore the other number will be 40. So the required two numbers will be 55 and 40. The word problem is two numbers are in the ratio 5 is to 3. If they differ by 18, what are the numbers? Since the numbers are in the ratio 5 is to 3, we assume them to be 5x and 3x, where x is a common multiple. Now, according to the second condition, they differ by 18. So we write 5x minus 3x equals 18. That will be 5 minus 3 that is 2x equals 18 or x will be 18 by 2 which is 9. Now this is the value of the common multiple x. Therefore the first number 5x will be 5 into the common multiple 9 that is 45. The second number 3x will be 3 multiplied by the common multiple 9 that is 27. So 45 and 27 are the required two numbers. Next word problem is three consecutive integers add up to 51. What are these integers? Consecutive means coming one after the other. They differ by one. So we assume these three consecutive integers as x minus 1, x and x plus 1. These three integers differ by 1. Now these three integers add up to 51. So we write x minus 1 plus x plus x plus 1 equals 51. Minus 1 cancels with plus 1. x plus x plus x. 3x equals 51. So that gives us x equals divided by this 3. So 3 ones are 3 ones are 3 sevens are 21. So that gives us x equals 17. Now that we know the value of x, we can write the three consecutive integers. The first will be x minus 1 that is 17 minus 1 that will be 16. Next will be x which is 17 itself 
and the third integer will be x plus 1 that is 17 plus 1 18 so the required integers will be 16 17 and 18 which add up to 51 next word problem is three consecutive integers add up to 51 what are these integers consecutive means coming one after the other they differ by one so we assume these three consecutive integers as x minus 1 x and x plus 1 these three integers differ by 1 now these three integers add up to 51 so we write x minus 1 plus x plus x plus 1 equals 51 minus 1 cancels with plus 1 x plus x plus x 3x equals 51 so that gives us x equals 51 divided by this 3 so 3 ones are 3 ones are 3 sevens are 21 so that gives us x equals 17 now that we know the value of x we can write the three consecutive integers the first will be x minus 1 that is 17 minus 1 that will be 16 next will be x which is 17 itself and the third integer will be x plus 1 that is 17 plus 1 18 so the required integers will be 16 17 and 18 which add up to 51 the word problem is if you subtract one half from a number and multiply the result by one half you get 1 by 8 what is the number we will start from the last question what is the number so we assume the number to be x now from the first condition if you subtract half from a number so we subtract half from x so we get x minus half and multiply the result now x minus half is our result and we have to multiply this result by 1 by 2 so multiply by 1 half you get 1 by 8 so after multiplication by half we get 1 by 8 this is the linear equation in x that we have to solve to get the required number x we will send this half to the right hand side so that it will be multiplied by its reciprocal which is 2 so we write x minus half equals 1 by 8 multiplied by 2 so that will be 2 ones are 2 fours are that gives us 1 by 4 now we will send this half to the right hand side and write x equals 1 by 4 this minus half becomes plus half on the right hand side the LCM of 4 and 2 is 4 LCM 4 divided by 4 will be 1 1 multiplied by 1 will be 1 LCM 4 divided by 2 will be 2 1 multiplied by 2 will be 2 so this will be 3 by 4 so the required number is 3 by 4 next word problem is the perimeter of a rectangular swimming pool is 154 meter so the perimeter p given to be 154 meter its length is 2 meter more than twice its breadth what are the length and the breadth of the pool here we have to find the length and breadth of the pool first we will draw the rectangular pool now here length of the pool has been expressed in terms of its breadth so we will assume the breadth of the pool to be x so that its length will be x plus 2 we know that perimeter p of a rectangle is twice length which is x plus 2 plus breadth which is x now the perimeter is given to be 154 so 154 equals 2 multiplied by it will be x plus x 2x plus 2 first we will send this 2 
to the left hand side so that we write 2x plus 2 as 154 divided by 2 because here 2 is multiplied so when it goes to the left hand side it will be divided by so that gives us 2 7s are 14 2 7s are 14 next we will send this 2 to the right hand side so that it will be 2x equals 77 this 2 will become minus 2 so it will be 77 minus 2 75 so x will be 75 divided by this 2 which will be 37.5 meter so breadth of the swimming pool will be 37.5 meter and its length will be 37.5 plus 2 that is 39.5 meter so length of the swimming pool is 39.5 meter and its breadth is 37.5 meter next word problem is the base of an isosceles triangle is 4 by 3 centimeter let us draw an isosceles triangle its base is given to be 4 by 3 centimeter the perimeter of the triangle is 4 integer 2 by 15 centimeter perimeter p of this triangle is given to be 4 integer 2 by 15 that will be 15 fours are 60 plus 2 62 by 15 centimeter what is length of either of the remaining equal sides so we have to find the lengths of these two equal sides of this triangle so we will start by assuming the unknown quantities that means these two equal sides to be x so the perimeter of this triangle will be x plus x that means sum of these two sides plus 4 by 3 centimeter now this perimeter is given to be 62 by 15 centimeters so this will be 2x equals now we have to move this 4 by 3 to the right hand side so it will be 62 by 15 minus 4 by 3 now this 2x let us write here this 2x will be now the LCM of 15 and 3 is 15 so this LCM 15 divided by this 15 gives us 1 and 1 multiplied by 62 62 will be 62 minus LCM 15 divided by 3 will be 5 and 5 multiplied by this 4 will be 20 that will be 42 divided by 15 now in order to find x we have to move this 2 towards right so it will be 42 by 15 divided by 2 so that will be 42 by 15 multiplied by reciprocal of 2 so that will be 1 half 2 ones are 2 2 are 2 ones are next 3 5 are 15 3 7 are 21 so that gives us x equals 7 by 5 so length of the remaining sides will be 7 by 5 centimeter 7 by 5 centimeter each next word problem is the ages of Rahul and Harun are in the ratio 5 is to 7 4 years later the sum of their ages will be 56 years what are their present ages so let us start by solving from the last question what are their present ages since the present ages of Rahul and Harun are in the ratio 5 is to 7 we assume age of Rahul to be 5x and that of Harun to be 7x after 4 years Rahul's age will be 5x plus 4 and Harun's age will be 7x plus 4 it is given that sum of their ages will be 56 years so from this condition we write 5x plus 4 plus 7x plus 4 equals 56 that will be 5x plus 7x 12x plus 
4 plus 4 that is 8 equals 56. We will send this 8 to the right hand side. So it will be 12x equals 56 minus 8 that will be 48. We have to divide this 48 by this 12. So it will be 48 by 12. 12 fours are 48. So the value of x is 4 which is the common multiple of 5x and 7x. So present age of Rahul will be 5 multiplied by the common multiple 4 20 years and that of Harun will be 7 multiplied by the common multiple x which is 4 that will be 28 years. So the present age of Rahul will be 20 years and that of Harun will be 28 years. Next word problem is 15 years from now Ravi's age will be 4 times his present age. What is Ravi's present age? Let us start the solution from the last question. What is Ravi's present age? Let Ravi's present age be x years from the first condition 15 years from now. So Ravi's age 15 years from now will be x plus 15 years and this age will be 4 times his present age. So according to this condition this x plus 15 is 4 times his present age x that is 4x. So we write x plus 15 equals 4x. We will take this x to the right so it will be 15 equals 4x. This x will be minus on the right hand side. So we get 3x equals 15. So that gives us x equals 15 divided by these 3 which will be 5. So Ravi's present age will be 5 years. Next word problem is Lakshmi is a cashier in a bank. She has currency notes of denominations rupees 100, rupees 50 and rupees 10 respectively. The ratio of the number of these notes is 2 is to 3 is to 5. The total cash with Lakshmi is rupees 4 lakh. How many notes of each denomination does she have? We will start our solution from the last question which is how many notes of each denomination does she have? Since the ratio of the number of notes is 2 is to 3 is to 5, we will assume that Lakshmi has 2x number of notes of rupees 100 denomination. That means she has 2x multiplied by 100 that will be rupees 200x in rupees 100 denomination. She has 3x number of notes in rupees 50 denomination which means she has 3x multiplied by 50 that is rupees 150x in rupees 50 denominations. She has also 5x number of notes in rupees 10 denominations which means she has 5x multiplied by 10 that is rupees 50x in rupees 10 denominations. It is said that the total cash with Lakshmi is rupees 4 lakh. So we can write 200x plus 150x plus 50x rupees equals 4 lakh rupees which she has. 200 plus 150 is 350, 350 plus 50 is 400. So 400x will be equal to 4 lakh. So that gives us x equals 4 lakh divided by this 400. These two zeros cancel and 4 ones are 0, 0, 0. So the common multiple x will be 1000. So Lakshmi has from 2x 2 multiplied by 1000 that is 2000 number of nodes 
of rupees 100 denomination she has 3 multiplied by common multiple 1000 that is 3000 number of notes of rupees 50 denomination and from 5x she has 5u multiplied by the common multiple 1000 that is 5000 number of notes of rupees 10 denomination so that's our answer Lakshmi has 2000 number of notes of rupees 100 denomination 3000 number of notes of 50 denomination and 5000 number of notes of rupees 10 denomination friends if you like this video please click the like button share this video with your friends and classmates do subscribe this channel to get more videos of this type see you in the next video until then keep watching number collage thank you